Welcome back into Sports Blitz Live. Luke Robinson now joined by Anthony Turling, who is the VP of External Affairs for the Alabama State Games. How's it going today? Doing well. Thank you for having me. All right. First of all, let's just go ahead and get it out there. Tell us about the Alabama State Games because I don't think everybody knows about it. All right. Yeah. And that's the one thing, as Luke kind of alluded to before the break, um, it was called the Alabama Sports Festival. What it is is it was known as a sports festival back in the day. The Olympic Committee, United States Olympic Committee, wanted to start a grassroots level effort in, in all states to have Olympic style state games, and this is what that is. It's an Olympic style games called the Alabama State Games. It's the state's largest annual multi-sport event. Um, you can see we have over 20 plus sports for all ages and abilities, so youth, adults. We also have sports for those with disabilities. So it is an Olympic style event with an opening ceremony just like the uh, Olympics have. And then you'll see within three days, all 20 plus sports are going on within a host area. Okay, who's eligible to compete in them? Anyone. So if you look at, if you take certain sports, you have to go to our website. It's allagames.com. It's on the screen right now, alagames.com. And you'll see each sport has different age requirements. So if you take uh, track and field, for example, <coughs> no, they do not compete against each other. But in the past, we've had over 900 athletes, and we've had a three-year-old run track and an 88-year-old. 88 year old run track no they don't compete together but they compete within their age groups so each sport has different age requirements so like take soccer soccer has anywhere from eight year olds all the way up to 18 year olds then we have adult groups anybody 19 and over and then we have a 30 and over age bracket so you can see all the sports are different per ages um, that's why you just have to go to our website and see what the fees are the deadlines um, and really, there's a lot of these groups like basketball. We have groups that if you can put a team of five together and you can get a jersey and, and put a number on it, you can come play in our event. Wow, that's amazing. So you, is it just all divided by ages then and it's talent level, yep. not really an issue? Well, I mean, like take, take basketball. We have an AAU basketball tournament. Um, so we try to align with what is best for each sport. So basketball has three tournaments. We have an AISA tournament, so Alabama Independent School Association tournament, so for all your AISA schools. We have an open basketball tournament. That's where if you're in the ages of 8 through 18 and you want to put a team together, male or female, you can come. So the open division in basketball generally will come from your parks and recs, your Ys, uh, things like that. Then, of course, we all know about AAU basketball. In the past, we've had people like H uh, Richard Hendricks play and people like that. We've had very notable uh, um, athletes, things like Bo Jackson have competed in our track and field event back in the 80s. Um, so it's just depending on what sport you're looking at. Like another example is rugby. Uh, rugby is a club sport for colleges. We have mm -hmm. Alabama, we have Auburn, we have Troy. We have all the colleges represented competing against each other. And then one day you might see rugby as a championship sport in the SEC. Who knows? I'll tell you, by the way, rugby actually has, Birmingham has a rugby team. Yes, and, and they compete. that is amazing. They compete in this? Yep, they do. I saw them play against, uh, I guess you call it play. Yes, against, yes. In, in, against uh, Chattanooga. Mm -hmm. That was one of the most violent things I had ever watched. And afterwards, it was the nicest group of people. It's interesting rugby's on there because you would think, Rugby being the sport it is just by nature, mm -hmm. after the game there might be a brawl breakout. It, it's the opposite. Yep. All the aggression is left out on the field. Um, so right. pretty interesting you have that on there. Probably the most interesting sport on here, far and away, is ultimate frisbee, <laughs> which I find very, very cool. So any age can participate with this? Now ultimate is going to be 18 plus. Um, that's why it's real important de depending on the factors of the year. If you see we've got 23 sports to be exact around one weekend. Not all these sports are going on during June mm -hmm. 10th through 12th. A lot of these sports are out of season. Gotcha. So we have to be very mindful of, of ways to create a good tournament, a good atmosphere, because this is not just for Alabama athletes. This is for, we've had athletes come from Tennessee. We've had athletes come from Georgia, Florida. So that's what's really cool is you also get to compete for the gold, silver, and bronze. I, I forgot to mention that. It's an Olympic style event, so we award just like the Olympics do, gold, silver, and bronze medals. Um, but Ultimate is an 18 plus. We actually have teams registered from Florida now. We have some teams from Alabama, of course. Um, so it just depends on what sport it is. And, and so we hope to one day offer all ages uh, for all sports. But you do have to look and see on the website on each sport page on allagames.com for that information. How are all these games funded? Well, we actually start off a zero-based budget. 
Okay. Um, we work with basically, it's a volunteer organization. Our organization runs with about 500 volunteers during this weekend. We encompass around 40 venues across the host areas of Dothan, Ozark, and the counties of Dale and Houston. Um, so when we're funded, it's basically things like private sponsorships, so things like great sponsors like Academy, Coca-Cola, Blue Cross Blue Shield, our co-host partners, cities of Dothan, Ozark, counties of Dale and Houston. One thing our goal is to, we want to bring an impact to the community, so things like hotels, things gas and restaurants. Uh, so we could not do this without a lot of our partners, um, so anything from sponsors, um, to public dollars and things like that. So we do a lot of support um, and we could not do that without those people. So for the most part though, if you want to compete, mm -hmm. it's it's up to you, you're on your own dime. Is that correct? Yeah. It's, okay. it's, Which is, I think is fine and I think it's great yeah. and I think that's the only way you could pull it off. Um, so I guess it leads to my next question. Say BMX racing, mm -hmm. for instance. That's on here. I find that really interesting. Mm -hmm. or, or flag football. If a group of guys from Birmingham who all are in the 25 to 30 year old range mm -hmm. want to play and then there's a group of guys in the 35 to 40 year old range in Huntsville that they want to play would they be in the same or is, or is even that broken up by ages? Oh flag football is all adults um, we've seen uh, guys like Stan White uh, plays flag in Birmingham and is of course all-time quarterback um, mm -hmm. and he runs a team and he was competing in our games so we had guys that were in their 18 to 25 years like you're saying then we've got guys 30 to 40 that were running circles around them so uh, flag football is really just 18 plus um, the only ones we really get into where the specific age groups of adult is the soccer where we kind of break it up 19 and 30 and then 30 and over mm -hmm. um, and then you've got like slow pitch softball where you've got a lot of adults whether it be in churches playing slow pitch or the travel slow pitch softball teams Really, it's a fantastic concept. Like I said, I played in the sports festival back in the day in, in 91, and it was, it was amazing to me to see so many great players out there. And um, it's, it's really a cool idea. You're doing a, a wonderful thing. And Thank you. Hopefully a lot of people will show up. It's tell everybody when and where it is again. Yes, the Alabama State Games is June 10th through 12th. It's in the cities of Dothan and Ozark, counties of Dale and Houston. So we've got sports, like I've said, all 23 of them, anything from archery, BMX racing, gymnastics, all types of sports, and you'll see them all across. So if you go to allagames.com, that's A-L-A-G-A-M-E-S.com, you'll see under the sports section. Go to each sports page, you'll see the fees, you'll see how to register, you'll see where your sport is being played, and all the information you would need. And, of course, contact information is on there if you have any questions. What if you wanted to volunteer? You can absolutely volunteer. We would love for people to volunteer. We need as many as we can get, and we get them from all across the state. Things that volunteers that we provide are, you know, you'll get an event staff T-shirt, You'll get an experience that you'll probably never be able to, to work with before, especially around sports that you love. So, yes, if you want to volunteer, you go to our website, and you'll see a volunteer link. You can fill that out online. We get that, and then we'll contact you and see what you would like to help us with. Really, really cool, Anthony. I mean, you guys got something really fun on your hands. So thank you so thank much you. for being with us tonight. We'll keep talking about it and have you on again before this uh, June 10th thank time you. frame. All right, that was Anthony Terling, everybody, who is the Vice President of External Affairs for the Alabama State Games. We'll be back in just a minute with more Sports Blitz Live.